It's time for another visit with our Hollywood News Reel reporter with the Red Carpet Minute. Hello and welcome to the Red Carpet Minute in the week in entertainment. I'm Edward Gordon. In TV news, the early hype surrounding the new reality show Kid Nation has already spawned a spinoff called... Kid Rock Nation. <laughs> Every week, the kids of Kid Rock Nation will fight the kids of Tommy Lee Nation over a washed-up actress with fake boobs, even though the kids of Scott Bayo Nation nailed her first. <laughs> Speaking of Scott Bayo, his show Scott Bayo is 45 and Single, which ended with him knocking up his fiance, has been picked up for a second season. A lot has happened since then, as the show will now be called Scott Bayo is 46 and trying to convince his ex-fiance to have an abortion. <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> Rosie O'Donnell has reportedly turned down an offer to appear as a guest on Oprah. Apparently, Rosie couldn't be assured that there would be enough cupcakes and gravy in the green room for both she and Miss Winfrey, so she was forced to cancel. <laughs> on Sunday night, the Emmys garnered their worst ratings ever, with the audience down 20% from last year. Relax, Seacrest, it's not your fault, it's just that people are sick and tired of your face. <laughs> in a much-hyped rap showdown, Kanye West defeated 50 Cent by selling 1 million copies of his newest CD compared to only 700,000 for 50. Does that mean that Kanye gets to bust a cap in 50 Cent's ass, or can they both somehow shoot each other? Because that's actually what I'd prefer. <laughs> In movie news, Jodie Foster's new film, The Brave One, was the number one movie in the country this past week. Good for you, Jodie. Her husband, or boyfriend, or whoever the man is in her life that we ne never get to see and she never talks about, must be very proud. Come on, Jodie, when are we going to finally get to meet the new fella? <laughs> <laughs> Producers have finally revealed the name of the new Indiana Jones film, which will be called Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. When asked what the title meant, Sean Connery, Harrison Ford, and Karen Allen replied, huh, huh, huh. <laughs> The new Billy Bob Thornton film, Mr. Woodcock, opened in third place amid complaints about the film's suggestive title. It's an offensive and inappropriate title for a PG film to have. This, according to President of the Family Movie Council, Mrs. Stinky Biscuit Rottencrotch. <laughs> Until next time, this is Edward Gordon for the Red Carpet Minute <laughs> saying bye-bye. Stinky. Stinky biscuit rotten crotch. Mm. That's, just, that's just unfortunate. Yeah, it's unfortunate. You hate to, you hate to hear that. It's just...